Hello, this is Rui, director of Malaya House of Prayer. And I just want to take a couple of minutes just to say thank you for your interest to help build this regional altar of day and night prayer and worship. And you're part of a company and an army all over the earth that is beginning to respond because God's moving in their heart to begin to create altars all over the earth of day and night prayer with worship. And that's really important the way I said that. It's day and night prayer with worship because we believe that God is raising up a sound of worship that is fueling intercessory prayer. Men and women all over the earth that is crying out the promises of God. And so why harp and bow? Why do we do that here at the House of Prayer? Well, the first reason is we see it in the scriptures. In Revelation 5, verse 8, right after Jesus takes the scroll from the Father's hand, it says that there's 24 elders, each having a harp, that is a musical instrument, and having also a bow, which the Bible says is full of the prayers of the saints. They come before Jesus. And I believe that when those bowls are full, that's when Jesus takes the scroll from the Father and he begins to release the redemptive story and battle plan of the Father to redeem the earth back to its original place. And so, number one, the harp and bow model is actually biblical. Right now, around the throne room of God, there's both harps, musical instrument, which speaks of worship, and there's bows. There's the prayers of the saints. The second reason why we do harp and bow, because harp and bow has a way to make corporate prayer enjoyable. Isaiah 56, 7 sp speaks about his house being a house a prayer for all nations. And then there's a promise there that says, I will make you joyful in my house of prayer. There is joy coming back to corporate prayer meetings. And one of the reasons why joy is coming back is because worship and music is adding an element to corporate prayer that makes it enjoyable and actually easier for everyone to engage. Another reason why we do harp and bow here at Malaya is because harp and bow has the word of God as such a major value in it. We are praying biblical verses and we're singing biblical verses as well. Harp and bow is full of the word of God. We're singing God's promises and we're praying God's promises. One of the ways that I explain harp and bow is I say it this way. The singers sing our prayers and we pray their songs. And both the prayers and the songs are founded on the Word of God. And lastly, harp and bow is important to us because it's been my experience that harp and bow really creates a prophetic environment. What I mean by that is that there is this uh, grace to begin to hear and move with the Holy Spirit in our corporate prayer and worship meetings. It really allows for the spontaneity of the Holy Spirit when you have both prayer and worship going back and forth with one another through team ministry. It really cultivates a prophetic atmosphere. And really, simply what I mean by a prophetic atmosphere is that we're able to hear what the Spirit is saying and how He's directing our meetings. I've seen this to be true when prayer accompanies worship, and specifically with, with musicians as well behind it. And so these are a couple of reasons why we do harp and bow, and, and, and really uh, the, the last reason is that it really allows us to maintain this type of expression for the long term. We're looking for the long term, an altar that is day and night with both prayer and worship until Jesus returns. And so it really makes it more simple to do it long term when we have both prayer and worship marrying together in our meetings. And so I want to invite you to jump in and, and uh, into this expression. I want to say it's not the only expression, but it's a great expression and that we've chosen to, to, to really uh, take in and to do here at the House of Prayer. So thank you for your time and God bless you.